have so many stories about my dad but um for his memorial i'd like to share the ones that would give you guys a good idea what kind of dad he was he was of course a good dad very loving responsible dependable you know completely stalwart and worthy but to give new ones to this very general characterization i'll tell you about the time he sat me down to share how he reviewed for exams yeah <laughs> i was probably in the second or third grade and was starting to worry about you know doing well in tests and getting good grades um well he took the time to show me the system that has always worked for him so he got a legal a legal pad and um, made a table with columns uh, labeled people, places, dates, um, key points, etc. Um, anything I, I really wanted to like, um, you know, details I wanted to remember. And as I read, you know, as I reviewed, I was supposed to note down all the details that are likely to show up, or that were likely to show up in the test. And um, so, basically. As I reviewed, I was making myself a reviewer that I could like more easily refer to um, later on. And then he also showed me how to um, create mnemonics so I'd have an easier time memorizing. And you all know how much he liked mnemonics. I mean, if you you know listen to his sermons, you've been a member of his flock for some time, you know. He, there, there's, there are always mnemonics in his um, messages. Anyway, it was just that one time, and um, basically he, he equipped me with a tool, and it was up to me to use it to my advantage. I used that review method all the way through college, and I think we can safely say that I had some success with it. <laughs> Daddy actually never pressured me to be an honor student um i mean of course he urged me to study well and get good grades but it was clear that it was for my own good there were no mentions of rewards or bribes or even punishments um school was basically just a tool for stability in the future he was all about living in faith dependent on god um but he also believed in giving us an, an edge in life. Um, he himself never had those advantages, so he made sure that um, that we did. <laughs> so, oh, but never when it came to cars. Do y'all remember Remedios Benz? She later on transitioned into a much higher level of amazing wonder and reinvented herself as Milagros Benz. Um, and the thing that uh, that thing was, you know, was fueled by dad's faith and very little else. It was just really um, incredible faith. Um, now that I don't have to ride in her, <laughs> I can remember her with fondness. Um, and she actually faithfully served dad and us for many, many years. So... Uh, you, you know, Dad actually had a chance to get a nice car, but he ended up buying a Fiera, you know, that little van thing here in the Philippines. And when we complained, when my sister and I complained, he said he wanted something that could seat a lot of people and, um, you know, something uh, that people wouldn't be hesitant to get into because they were maybe they were dirty or disheveled or whatever. So anyway, uh to go back, I digress. To go back to my original point, uh, Dad enjoyed honing the mind and taking on new knowledge. Um, I'm a history and trivia buff myself, and that was his influence. I remember one Christmas, again, I was just a little girl. He put my gift under the tree, and I was very curious about it. I kept on bugging him to give me clues so I could guess what it was. And the clue he gave me was that it produced sound. So I began thinking of instruments, you know, musical instruments or, or a radio. But when Christmas Day came and I opened the box, 
it had it, it had a globe inside so I was puzzled I said you said it produced sound and he said yes when you spin it you'll hear tick 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 and uh, that was just the kind of thing he'd think was funny anyway he enjoyed mental exercises and challenges and he gave much importance to schooling but the motivation wasn't wealth and success sometimes yeah no now that i'm all grown up i wonder why am i not swimming in riches why don't I have a, why don't i have a mountain of money to climb <laughs> why don't i care about acquiring material possessions and ultimately it was because i was raised not to give much importance to them for that you're supposed to contribute to society at the level of your capability you're supposed to give your endeavors your best um you, you know give it your best but to glor because you want to glorify god's name and second you want to bless other people everything was for jesus and jesus was everything the very reason for your life and existence it, it was pretty hard to grow up following that standard of spiritual maturity and growing pains were very real very real but that exposure made all the difference at the end of the day i'm incredibly incredibly blessed to have been raised by such a man so i'm thankful I'm thankful i'm gonna miss him i miss him so much <laughs>